Welcome. In this video, we take on mission six of Reichbusters Project Vril, out with a bang. Our mission briefing, our team is nearly out of time. The Vril Meisters are preparing to load up their new weapons and launch their assault on the world. With access to the support structure of this bunker, there's only one real option here. We blow the whole place to smithereens. A few strategically placed demolition charges and the whole castle will come tumbling down, ending the threat here once and for all. With every weapon they have pointed in our direction, it's likely to be a one-way mission. Still, you didn't sign up for tea parties. It's all or nothing now. Good luck. Our mission objective, plant all three demolition charges. The hero must escape in the submarine carrying the detonator objective item. Our special rules, we add three demolition charges in the detonator to our HQ card. Heroes may use the give item action to plant a demolition charge on a false objective item. Each false objective item can only have one demolition charge planted on it. And we'll have six rounds in pre-alarm and six rounds in post-alarm. Our enemies, officer, soldier, zombie, dog, Sturm Angriff, Sturm Cannoneer, tracking bombers, scientist, and two Vril Pangers that start on the map. So as far as our map, got this laid out here. So I've done the best I can to get everything on screen. We've got two Vril Pangers in this area. We are starting here. We need to get a demolition charge in these three locations, then exit via the submarine. Coming in with Colber, so this is his first mission here. Coming in with a demolition charge, he's got silent, so he can spend special symbol to ignore all noise. Now there was a misprint on his card. He comes in with a machine gun with three noise and a burst. And he's got a machete with deadly. His two starting cards. And then the two we've drawn into, fearless and bravery. And next we've got Claudine, which everyone should be familiar with. She's got the detonator, and from the previous mission, she's got three heroic points to play with. Her two base cards, and starting out with these two. Next, we're bringing in Irina. She has dual wielding, so she can split her damage up amongst the enemies in her space. And she's got one of the charges also. And two guns with versatile, one with accurate, and one with precise. And then her two base cards she has, and she drew in a scouting and spy. And Brick is back with the defense point from the last one. We've given him resilient, so he gets to re-roll his defense dice that are blanks. And he's got one of the charges and his two base cards and drawing into these two. Hopefully I can get this done by the end of the pre-alarm, but probably not, so hopefully really quickly after that. My plan is to actually split the party, but we'll see how that goes once we get through the door. We will start with Claudine going first. First action, open a door. One noise. And I think I'm gonna move some of these around so I can get my dice tray a little bit closer to me. Getting a special, of course. So a total of three noise. So if we does it, discard a heroic point or add two to the total. And if we fail, an enemy patrol appears and it's gonna be suspicious. So just like that, we're going in noisy. So we end up with six, uh, but we do have our sneaky ability, so we can ignore one or reduce it. So we've reduced it down to five, so we do not set this off. So a little bit of luck there. Second action, we're gonna draw two cards, getting resistance, fighter, and aggression, and go ahead and end her turn. Then we'll go into Colber. He's just gonna move in and draw two cards. Getting Consolidate and Unfazed. Arena will be doing the same. Moving in, drawing two into Spy and Sneak Attack. And then Brick. Moving in and drawing two. Getting these two to add to his hand size. 
And when Colbert would have moved in, the room would have been cleared. So no enemy turns after any of ours. End of round phase. Everyone has five or more cards. We'll advance the round track. And go again, but this time we're gonna start with Irina. She is going to open a door over here for one noise. Getting a one. Add three to that total. So ending up with just five, so Catastrophe is still underneath our threshold. But she now has line of sight to a level one, which is going to be a soldier and a dog. And that area will be, or room is suspicious. We'll then use a free action to move on and draw one and make a little noise in the process. So she'll move in here. We'll draw into chain kill. Make a little noise. Make a little more noise. Ending up with a three. So oops, discard one card and we're under the threshold. We'll go ahead and discard scouting and we'll see what this level two is gonna be. And that is gonna be an officer and three soldiers. Stand that guy up. So we're done with this one. She has another one in her hand. We'll go ahead and move one and draw one again. This time chain kill. And one noise. Getting a three. Add two to her total. So we're about to muff this. Yeah, that's muffed. Eight. Make the nearest non-suspicious room suspicious. And our nearest non-suspicious room is behind the locked door. Our second basic action, we're gonna draw two more cards, Crack Shot and Dual Pistols. We're then gonna play this, so free action, and stay in play till the beginning of our next turn, no noise. Giving us plus one attack die, plus one defense, and we re-roll our blank results. So that's gonna stay out on us for a while. Then we're gonna play Crack Shot, make a lethal ranged attack. And that's no noise. So we have two weapons to choose from, both are versatile, so we can use them in melee. One is accurate and one is precise. We're gonna go with precise and shoot at one of the soldiers in our area. For the gun, gets us two. For that card, we get an additional one. And this is a lethal attack. So we get to reroll our blanks at least. Yeah, just wanna double check those all and not just one. And since it's precise, we can make our blanks a one. Soldiers have a defense of four, and the guard point is over there, so that's good enough to take out a soldier. Then we're gonna play Haunted by the Past as a reaction. It's gonna stay out till the beginning of our next turn. After you wound an enemy unit, make an attack on an enemy unit, so as long as we keep wounding units, we can keep on rolling. So using the same weapon, we're done with Crack Shot. She'll target a soldier. And she's rolling blanks. So that's not enough by itself. We'll go ahead and modify this, giving us two additional dice. There we go. So now we've got six, seven, eight. And because of dual wielding, we can spread that on multiples. So we'll take out two soldiers. 
Then we wounded unit, so we'll attack again. Shooting at the officer. Once again, rolling blanks. But we're accurate, or precise, I mean. And he has a defense of three. So he is gone, which triggers us making an attack on an enemy unit. So we'll shoot over here at this soldier. He's dug in. So he gets plus one defense while he's at a guard point. So he's got a five. That works. So we'll use the boost there. Getting six. And then go in for another shot on the dog who has a defense of five. And we've got two blanks, which we can make into ones. And we've got the special for another roll. So we've taken out the dog. And with that, she's taken out the entire room, so she'll get a heroic point. We'll scatter these up around here. And she will end up with a defensive heroic point. And we will end her turn. Next, we'll go with Brick. We'll have him take a basic move action and give him plus one to that move, making a little bit of noise. So one, two. He's moved in there, so this area, well, was cleared from the end of her turn. So now to deal with that noise. Getting a three, reroll one blank. We don't have any blanks and we're under the threshold, so nothing's gonna happen. And for a second action, he'll draw two cards. Getting unstoppable and brickhead. Next, we'll go with Claudine. She wants to move into a better position, so move one and draw one. Getting into Deja Vu. Rolling for Noise. And with her sneaky ability, we can knock that down to a zero. First basic action, we will draw two cards. Getting Hatred and Retaliate. Second action is going to be to open a door. So noise of one, getting a three, discard one card or add one to the total. And we'll go ahead and add one. And we can reduce that by one. So we're still under the threshold. We get to see what's behind the scientist's desk here. So remove this from the game, place a face up, one of these tokens in this area. And that is a healing potion. Uh, discard a number of permanent wounds from a hero in your area equal to the real result. And if we get the special, discard all permanent wounds from the target hero. And we also reveal that. And that is going to be two soldiers. And that room becomes suspicious. We'll use her vengeance ability to move into an area in melee. Actually, I'll take that back. We won't use vengeance. We'll use aggression. In either order, move on and make an attack and it'll be the noise of our weapon. So we'll use that to move in there. Using her knife, which is precise, which gives her two dice. Plus she's in an area with no other heroes, so that gets her another die because of her die hard. And it also makes this attack lethal. So 
on the soldier, defense of four. We can re-roll the blank and make it a one since it's also precise. Takes a soldier out. Then we have a hatred, play after you wound an enemy unit, make an attack, using her knife again, so no noise. So we get to re-roll this one. And that brings in another die. And we're gonna use this to make him drop some loot. And we'll spread these up here. Oops. We don't get to look at it. So that'll drop there. We'll end our turn, clearing the room. Then Colbert will go next. We'll move in and draw two cards, getting bravery and unyielding. We'll go to another end of round phase. So any player with fewer than five cards draws one. Irene is the only one that meets that criteria. So she will draw into dual pistols. We'll go to round three. We'll start with Arena. So she'll lose these two cards, go into her discard pile. First action will be to draw two cards. She only has one left, she draws into Ambush. So we'll take her discard pile, shuffle that up, and then we will lose the first one. So no more scouting for her. And draw into Katwika, so one of our base cards again. And I forgot at the end of the round, these two tokens would go away. But her second action, she's gonna unlock this door, which is gonna make three noise. And that equals four. So discard two cards or add two to the total. No desire to give up cards. So we end up with eight. So an enemy patrol appears and it's gonna be suspicious. And our closest doors are the one we were trying to open and this one, we're gonna make this one come in. Oops, I guess I need to see what is coming in. So it's gonna be one level one. Comes in our room, becomes suspicious, and then immediately goes to alert. And it is going to be an officer and a soldier. We'll also get line of sight on this one. And that is going to be two soldiers and a scientist. We are gonna play an ambush, so as a response, after an enemy unit enters our tile, we're gonna move on and then make an attack, making a little noise. We're gonna move back in this area. Well, before we do that, we're gonna throw this back out, uh, giving us plus one attack die, defense, and reroll blanks. Then play the ambush to move into that room. We'll use our precise pistol. So we get two from that, one from our extra card, shooting at one of the soldiers. And precise. We don't have time to pick things up, so we'll just hit him harder. And that's gonna make a noise of one. Is a blank. We'll go ahead and play this, dual pistols. Make a ranged attack on two enemy units. We're gonna shoot the two units in our area. With three dice. We can re-roll our blanks. 
and it's accurate, and we'll spin that for some overkill. Second attack on the scientist. Who has a defense of two? Then as a free action, we'll place a charge. Then we'll play dual pistols, our second copy of that one, to shoot in this area. Oh, let's see. That was from our boost, we can re-roll blanks. So more than enough to take out that one. And then with the second attack on the officer, re-roll, and that's enough to take him down. And unfortunately, those were two separate rooms, so even though she took out five units, not in the same room. We'll end her turn. And she went first. That area is cleared. We'll have Brick go next. He will move one and draw two cards. Drawing into these. If Colbert go next, first action is to open a door with a value of two. And he can spend that because he's silent to ignore all noise. And for his second action, he'll draw two cards, getting Elite Warrior and Courageous. And then Claudine is gonna move. Second action, draw two cards, getting Bloodlust and a Stick Grenade. And this room is also cleared. And hopefully I'm not being too cautious. So end of another round, Irene's the only one with less than five cards. She will draw into Spy. We'll move up to round four. And we've already collected our tokens. And we'll start with Claudine. First action, draw two cards. She's only got one left, Sacra Blue. So we'll shuffle her three cards here. She'll lose this one for the game and draw into Hatred. Second action, she'll go unlock the door. Noise of three. Getting a special. So she's made seven noise. So no effect there, but make the nearest non-suspicious room suspicious. And that's not what I was hoping for. Well, we've got three rooms, one, two, three, or any of these actually. We'll make this room suspicious. Well, I was hoping she'd make enough noise for someone to come through, but instead we have Colbert go next. So free action, we'll have him move on and draw one. Uh, no noise. So moving into here. Draws into Ghost. First basic action. Opening the door. Three noise. Uh, Reroll one non-blank. We don't have any. Enemy patrol appears and it is at ease. And my perfectly laid plans have just now been shot to you know what. Because our closest doors has these guys in them. That was two level ones coming in. So we're gonna get one soldier. And 
three soldiers. And they came in at ease. And now they're a little suspicious, along with this big beast of a thing. This door's open, so we're gonna see these two level threes start up. We'll start with the upper section. That's gonna be an officer and two Sturm Angriffs. And this lower section, gonna be two zombies and a cannoneer. Second basic attack is going to be to move into this area. Then as a free action, it's going to make some noise, but we're going to make four plus one lethal melee attacks. So lethal means he'll reroll his blanks. And his melee attack is deadly, so we can spend a special to do three damage, or to get one of these at least. So he gets two for his knife, one more for that. The cannoneer does have two wounds. And the zombie, defense of seven, cannoneer six. And this is four separate attacks, so not four different enemies. So our first attack is going to be on the cannoneer, needing a six. It's lethal, so we can reroll. So we did one damage to him. Second attack on the cannoneer also. Get to reroll our blanks. That got us up to five. We'll let that go. So we'll go into a third attack, which is still gonna be on him. That's gonna be enough. We can spin one of those to make a three. So we're sitting at five, six, seven, eight. Have him drop some loot. And then our fourth and final attack on one of these zombies. So we can make that a three. It's lethal, so we can reroll our blank. And I'll go ahead and roll some more to take out another zombie. Because let's face it, I'm not gonna have time to pick up loot. So now we've got to deal with noise. So we've got five noise coming in. We get to reroll one die. I'm gonna keep the three. Getting another three, because I kind of want this door open. An enemy patrol appears, and it's gonna be at ease, so we're getting two level ones. We want them to come in through this door. So they come in at ease. But this is area is already suspicious. So one of them is going to be two soldiers. And the next one is going to be a soldier and a zombie. Then we have line of sight in here. So we're level two. It's going to be four soldiers. And our level three, it's gonna be four zombies. Next, we're gonna play another free card. So he can move to ignoring enemy units, so they're not gonna stop his movement. So one, two, 
then he can make two plus two lethal versatile ranged attacks. And of course in here, this area is one square and these are two separate ones. Even though the artwork is different on the card, I kept that area that direction. So they have these areas like so. So he's gonna to decide to shoot at the zombies. So he gets three dice, but the card says it's just gonna take two noise. And they're lethal and versatile, and we have burst. And uh, extra two. So on the zombies, defense of seven. They're lethal, so we get to reroll our blanks. It's got burst, so we spend one of these to get two more dice in here. And so I don't mess all these up. I'll bring them over here. I've spent this one to get two more dice. I'll spin this one for one more die, which will be spent for another die. So we're going to end up with one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's going to take out two zombies. Second attack, he'll go after the zombies again. So it's lethal, we get to reroll our blanks. We've got one special. We can spin on the burst to get two dice, which gets us another burst. We roll our blanks and we end up with four, seven, 10, 14, 17. So we take out two more. Then we will make our noise, getting a five, discard a card and we're past the Threshold, we will discard this card. Closest doors right here. We're getting two level ones coming in at ease, but this tile is already suspicious. So the first one is just gonna be one soldier. And the second one is gonna be a soldier and a zombie. And we also get to see what's in here. We've got a Vril Transformer. Uh, we may take a basic action to flip one of our weapons to the Vril side. The weapon will become drained. So not something we're actually going to use. But we are going to use a free action to plant some charges. So we've got that done. We're then going to play Fearless, make an attack with plus three. See, we've already taken care of this noise. That card is done. So we're gonna shoot in here at the zombie. We're using our machine gun with burst. So three noise coming up after this. We get three dice. We've already got that in with it. And two blanks is not what we wanted to see. We'll modify that to give us an additional two dice. Which still didn't give us a burst, but it is at least enough to kill the zombie. Let's see, so that takes out the zombie. So we'll just keep it at that. And we've got a noise of three coming up. Just getting a three. Uh, add one to our roll. 
So that takes us over the threshold. An enemy patrol appears and it's suspicious. Closest door is right here. And we've gone through our noise deck already. So it's just a level one coming in here, suspicious, and then immediately going to alert. And it is going to be two soldiers and a zombie. Still not done with him, so he's unyielding. We can discard one of his permanent wounds. We don't have any. We can move on or make an attack. We're gonna move on. So that's no noise. Then we're gonna be unfazed till the beginning of the next player's turn. We'll ignore the effects of permanent wounds and we can move on. So I'll move over here. Make a noise of one. And I think we're going to use our silent ability to ignore all that noise. Then we're going to make a plus two melee attack. And that's going to be on the zombie unit. Using our knife or blade weapon. Which got us up to five, unfortunately. So we'll give up on the zombie. Then we'll go courageous on the two soldier units, uh, make a plus one attack on each of those. We'll use our blade again. So on the first one, which I could have got this against the zombie, deadly, so we can use that to bring in a three to take him down. Then our second attack, two blanks, one short, and nothing we can do. I was hoping to get this towel emptied so we wouldn't have enemy units in there. But that didn't work. So this enemy turn is gonna be interesting. So start, raise the alarm. I did keep this card. So play at the start of the raise the alarm phase. We get to move one and make two plus one attacks. And basically I'm just jumping in here so he can take all the shots or damage from this. We can make the attacks, but we can't hurt him. But just in case, we can see how good we might have done. So an eight with one attack, which would not have been enough, even if we could hurt it. And that was much worse. All right, so raise the alarm. We've got an alert unit. Track goes up by one. All alert enemies that can attack do so, or actually will move. So he'll move in here. This guy's happy right where he's at. Then we get to the attacks. Zombie has an attack of five. Cobra gets two defense dice. So he missed by two. Uh, discard a heroic point that he does not have, but we are under the threshold. So that'll do nothing. And this is the only alert soldier. So this would be a fight of four. Miss by one, discard a heroic point that he doesn't have, and below the threshold. But now all these units become alert. The start of the next player's turn, this will go out. We're gonna let Brick go. He's gonna play unstoppable, discard one of his permanent wounds, which he doesn't have, but we want him to move on and possibly roll terrible for his one noise die. So one. So we've got to shuffle our noise deck here. And 
And he discards a card, but we are well under the threshold. We will discard rat a tat tat Use a basic action to draw our last two cards, which is going to be Charge, and another copy of rat a tat tat Second basic action, open a door, noise of one. Getting another one. Discard two cards or add two to the total. We're going to add two to that total. Getting up to a three. So we're under the threshold there. Noise didn't carry too far because there's too much stuff going on over here. We do get line of sight to this guy. To level one. It's going to be two soldiers. Which is the last two soldiers we've got. This room is going to become a little suspicious. But we do not have line of sight to here. We are going to make a... Lethal ranged attack going into this area. It's going to make a lot of noise. We're going to use this one with the burst. So four dice. We're going to use that for a burst to bring in an additional two. And then this one will bring in an additional one. And two, four... So 10, 16, we'll take out these two. Then we've got some noise to deal with. Actually, I am gonna retcon that. Forgot about the unreliable. We're gonna just use two for the burst. Sorry about that. It's lethal, so we can reroll our blanks. Now we've got another burst, but we had more than enough to take out these two. We needed 10 for those two units. Uh, we had it with this when the burst coming up, no matter what. Now we've got the four noise coming in. And that is just five noise. So we're gonna add two to that total. Which isn't gonna matter because we're already at the threshold. But we like rolling dice. Uh, so we're going to make the nearest non-suspicious room suspicious. And that will be the room behind us. Now I've got line of sight to here, so that's a level two. Which is going to be an officer and three soldiers. We only have two soldiers left. Then we're going to, in either order, move and make an attack. We're going to move first. Then shoot, then ask questions. Once again, using our burst and unreliable, and hopefully this time I remember how to spend my specials. So I get four dice. And three blanks. We'll spin this so our weapon is not unreliable. Two damage is not enough to go through the soldier. But we made a lot of noise. So three for noise. Uh, getting a special symbol. So seven. We roll one blank, we don't have any. Nan Mini Patrol appears, it's at ease. Our closest door is gonna be these two. We're gonna have them come through the locked one. I didn't see, so we've got two level ones coming out. An officer and a soldier, we don't have any soldiers. And then we'll shuffle our discard pile to see what else is coming. Oops. And it's going to be a soldier and a zombie. Like I said, we're out of soldiers, but we do have a zombie. 
Next, we're going for Double Trouble. So I'm going to draw two cards, make a plus one attack with each of my weapons. And then we're going to advance the round marker. So all I have is a discard pile, so we'll shuffle up. We will be removing this from play and draw into unstoppable and making a lethal ranged attack. So now our plus one attack with each of our weapons. Both weapons get four dice, so we're getting five. First, we'll go with armor piercing in this area. Probably should have went with the burst first, but we didn't roll into that. So zombie is down since he has to be our first target. And our armor piercing gun is now jammed. Next on to our one with burst. We'll spin that so it's not jammed and take out the officer and take our round track up one. Then we'll play this to discard one of our permanent wounds, which we don't have, but move one, making slight noise. Getting a blank. So done with that. That lets us see what we have in this room, a level one, which is two soldiers, which we don't have any to put out. Then we'll play this to move on and make a melee attack. We'll move into this room. There's nothing to attack, but there's still a noise of one. Getting a one. I'm gonna add three to that total. And add two to that and add one to that. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Alert enemy units immediately attack. They cannot attack, they move. This is not an activation. Yeah, that was a catastrophe. Well, we start with our officers. Let me see what I've got hidden down here. Uh, one officer shooting in on Claudine. It's gonna be a defense of four for her. She does have some help. Uh, so once again, on the Viral Shield, she can either get the die one red and two green or just one green die. And she also has a helmet for an additional green die. She gets four dice. She does have counter, but uh, that's a ranged attack back. So she's more than safe from that attack. Then we've got soldiers. She's got four soldiers in melee on her. So that's gonna be three times two plus four, so 10. We'll start with the one additional die in there. So that gets us up to two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we'll try not to take damage. Okay, that gets us to 10. Then we can spend that to counter attack. So we're not taking any damage. We get two for our knife, one because we're the only hero there. So we've got lethal and precise. Reroll the lethal and we'll take out one of those. Make him drop some loot. Then she's gonna have three soldiers shooting in on her which is going to be same numbers here. So two, four, eight coming in. So we get two additional dice. So five out of eight, so a difference of three. Uh, knocked back. Not exactly what we wanted, but that's what we got. But we're below the threshold there. 
And we've got Colbur in here. So he's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shooting in on him. He's just got a defense of two. Discard a card or drop an item. He doesn't have any cards. So he dropped his dog biscuit. And he cannot take basic move actions. And he's got one zombie in with him. It's going to be a threshold of five. So difference of three. Drop two items. He doesn't have any, but now his item limit is reduced to three. Then the next thing I get to him is the Viril Panzer. So that's going to be an eight. So we can keep rolling. Maybe we can get there. Maybe not. So difference of six. Uh, discard a card or drop an item. He doesn't have either, but he's got dulled senses. Uh, you have a hand limit of three. That's his third wound. And heroes who are wounded by this unit in melee are knocked down and knocked back in addition to any other wound effects. So this door shut in melee, so we can choose to have him go this direction or that direction. And we will have him knocked down and knocked back into the crossway there. And that takes care of the catastrophe, which will still on Brick's turn. So now he'll use a free action to set some charges. Then we'll play this to have him move two. So one, two. Makes two noise. Getting a two. Add one to her total. So that was a blank. But they just keep on coming. All right. So eight. Enemy. Uh, Patrol appears and it's suspicious and it's just going to be a level one. And our closest door is coming through here. So we get a level one in that area, which is just a zombie. And we'll end with that. So we definitely have some enemy units that can see our heroes. So we've just reached post alarm. So first we need to trigger our remaining spawn point, which is just that back corner of the room. So in the back level one, we're getting three soldiers. And the next level one there is gonna be an officer. And then the level two is gonna be a soldier that we don't have, a zombie and a tracking bomber. Then we'll remove all our awareness tokens. Our noise alarm deck will get changed. Well, one good thing. No more real panchers can come out because they're still on the board. And all ongoing card effects. And the enemies get a free turn. So start with movement. That officer's good where he's at. We'll have this one open the least convenient door for us. And he's good where he's currently at. Soldiers, they're staying, they're staying. This one will move up. These six will move over. And he moves up. I'll take care of this zombie first and go ahead and take care of the tracking, throw them out of order. 
The zombie will move in here along with these two. And this one will move in here. The Angriffs will jump in this area. Already moved the tracking bomber. Nivril Pangers prefer ranged combat. And they, well, actually, I'm not sure how it's worded, but this door's still there, so we'll assume he knocks it down moving into this spot. So poor Colber. So that was her movement, now everyone's fighting. This guy's shooting on Brick. He's strong, so he gets plus one defense die. And he's resilient. So he's more than defending against that four from the officer. And this officer will shoot in at her downed Colber. He just gets two dice. Did not make it. So he's making some noise and he's got a bleeding arm and now he's officially downed. So for the noise, the three, reroll any non-blanks, but he's under the threshold. And just reading through here, like I said, downed heroes, they've got to take a recover action. Um, and it looks like they can have more than just four wounds, but they will not be captured until the start of their turn. And that's going to change some different things. So a captured hero cannot take actions. They also count as a guard point. Uh, but from what I'm reading, they can still be targeted and things are going to beat them up. So they kind of lock up an area. So then we've got soldiers. We'll go with these two shooting in. It's going to be six. He's resilient. So there's six, so he's safe from that. These three are in melee with him. So he's probably going to get some more wounds. Yep. Uh, he's knocked back. Well, first I guess we'll decide what was the damage coming in. So there are three soldiers, so that's going to be eight coming in. So he does get the wound, but he's knocked back. And since he's in melee, we can choose where he gets knocked back to. And we'll say he gets knocked from this direction. So this guy does not have a target, but all these soldiers can shoot at him again. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine. So he just needs a 20 to fin against that attack. 19 difference. Discard a card or drop an item. He has neither, but he now cannot take basic move actions. So he's very serious about not taking basic move actions. Oh, I forgot there was another guy in there shooting at him too. Well, they didn't change anything. He was just off by two more. Now we go to zombie attacks. That one doesn't have any up here. No targets in this area. Brick will have one. Just need to defend against a five. Getting to reroll its blanks. So four. So it's off by one. He's knocked down, but underneath the threshold. The Angriffs don't have a target. The bomber's too far away. So then we've got the Vril Panzer, who has line of sight in two different directions. And of course, we're going to choose him. So 10 defense coming in. It's three, difference of seven. He's knocked back, so he gets slammed against the end of the door. Now he's got a torn shoulder. And that's all the enemies. So we'll change our track here. This goes on six. And now it's time for the heroes. So just to go over our objective, we've got the three demo charges set. Now we just need to have a hero escaping the submarine, carrying the detonator objective. We currently have Claudine with the detonator. Submarine is here. And I'm 
playing this that as soon as that's our exit tile. So once our hero gets on there, the game will be over. But first, got to take our tokens, randomize those as best as we can in here, and then see whose turn it is. So we'll start with Colber. He will be going last, which is good for him. Then for Claudine, she's going first, which is perfect for us. Uh, then Arena is third, which means Brick is going to be going second. So the mission said this was likely a one-way mission for many of them, and that's the way it's probably going to be. Uh, she can use her Vengeance ability to move into a space that puts her in melee. We'll have her use a basic move to go here. Then as she yells, Viva la France, discard one of her permanent wounds that she doesn't have, and then she'll move one into the submarine, triggering our end condition. All our heroes then get unlimited movement. So Colbert will crawl his way onto the submarine. Unfortunately, for Brick and Arena, they can see the entrance, but not the exit. So our objective was completed. One to two heroes captured. We're in victory. Campaign is complete. Your team was ready to do their duty when they discovered the submarine. Its function, automatic, its secret destination pre-program. Whilst the weapon manufacturing was here, it seems as if the real research was elsewhere. With the threat of the Vril still looming over the world, there's only one real option here. Reichbusters, it looks like there's still work to be done. So that concludes our playthrough of the missions in Reichbusters Project Vril. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.